Hi, Thousand Pound Pig here. I want to show you a game called Sin Mora or Sinim Mora. I don't know how you say it. It's a Hungarian game. But it's a game which was released back in 2012. And if you watch the stuff I make, you know that I don't make videos of old games just for the sake of it. I, I pick certain particular games and talk about it there. And I chose Sin Mora because it is just such a beautiful game. I mean, you can see the footage yourself. I have put it in HD 1080p for you. Just look at the backgrounds, all the lights going on. The whole 3D, 2D kind of thing, it's just jaw dropping. But this is not a bullet hell game. The developers of Simora had a conscience. This is a side scrolling plane game with lots of bullets in it. Uh, a shoot em up. That's what it's called. That's the technical name for it. That doesn't mean the game is hard. It, it is, or, or at least I find it hard. I passed it eventually on medium difficulty. It takes around two and a half minutes or more, depending how much you suck. I'm not really into these kind of bullet hell shoot em up kind of games. I know someone who is, and anything with a plane and hits of bullets in it, he just goes nuts. He buys it and he plays the hell out of it till he finishes it. But yeah, like I said, I'm not really a fan of these side scrolling shoot em up kind of games. I just find them all pretty repetitive. But Saimora, what dragged me into this game was the way it looks. And I can't say that for many games. I try, I believe I'm kind of um, above. <laughs> playing a game just for its graphics, but it really helped get me into Sign More because all these shoot em up games they look really old, but this one doesn't. This is kind of a mix between 2D and 3D. You fly on a 2D plane, sorry, but you travel left to right, and every now and then a 3D cutscene kind of happens, and your plane slowly transitions to the next scene. And that scene could be going backwards or going some other way, or just turning around, spinning around a certain thing, or flying around a boss. The bosses in this game are incredible. There's like giant metallical squids and big giant robots or trains with heaps of bullet things on them. I don't know. The whole game is kind of weird with its art style. Apparently this is diesel punk art style. I like it. I like it more than steampunk. It reminds me a bit of Final Fantasy, but it is a Hungarian game. It's developed by Grasshopper Manufacturer, published by Digital Reality. There is a story in the game, but that is in Hungarian voice acting. So if you buy this game, you're an English speaker only and you play it, then you can still read the subtitles, but after a while you just read all the subtitles and you realize it's a shitty story. It's it's a story for a shoot 'em up. Who really cares? It's all about the bullets, all about the action and gameplay. And just because it does look beautiful, the gameplay doesn't suffer. There are a variety of different planes to use, mainly three but you also have different skins for each one and there are seven characters to choose from. Each character has their own ultimate ability and this could just be a giant rocket which flies out of your plane, a, a shield or something like that. You also have an ability to rewind time or slow down time. And that what makes this game a bit unique because I haven't seen that before in a shoot em up. With these games where there's bullets just everywhere it's good just to slow down time and slowly move through all these bullets. But once you are done with the story mode, there are other modes to do. There's arcade mode, score attack, boss training, so you can just play against all the bosses. The game can get pretty hard. What I find a bit of a problem is that the bullets, they sometimes glow, and because the background changes so much, like it could be a really bright background or a really dark background, if it's a really bright background, sometimes you can't see the bullets heading towards you, especially on the higher difficulties where there's more bullets. If you don't play a lot of shoot 'em ups I suggest trying it. If you do, then you might not like it so much. But go give it a whirl if you can, and let me know what you think about it. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you a bit about Sign Mora. I don't play shoot 'em ups very often, but I do play this one every now and then. This is one of the very few games which I actually go back to play every now and then. It's a beautiful game, good gameplay, good replayability, and I can only recommend it.